Ah, uh, yes. Apopka. City of Wonder. And every 10 years, Apopka High School has sacks. Sometimes it's good sacks. Sometimes it's bad sacks. Sometimes it's memorable sacks. And sometimes forgettable. But always, every 10 years, there is sacks. And that is why we are here today to talk to you about sacks and Apopka High School and the school community. We hope to bring you in this video our committee findings, that is the SACS Committee of School and Community. And as always, this will be a tongue-in-cheek production. Apopka has changed in the last 10 years. 10 years ago, the student body numbered around 1,500. This is what Apopka High School used to look like, but not anymore. We will now t see two distinct examples, Apopka before, 10 years ago in the review, and Apopka now. First, Apopka 10 years ago. Huh? You sociology? Oh, shit. Did you do your homework? No. Uh, neither did I. Hey! Are you wearing this Great. pants over there? what's in my car? Oh, <laughs> Our school has grown from 1,500 students in 1983 to 2,300 at the present. We added the ninth grade in 1987 and welcomed them with open arms. Excuse me. I'm new here, and um, I was wondering if you could tell me where the math hall was. No, get out of here, freshman. I don't have time for you. With the arrival of the ninth grade, we also increased the faculty to embrace new members. Also, with much delight, added the portables. I just love my portable with the sand and the air conditioning that always works and the floor that never falls in and the doors that always lock. Another finding of the committee was that there is a noticeable increase in Hispanic and Asian Pacific Islander students here at Apopka High School. There is a higher number of male students who return for an additional year to complete their high school education. Nikki, you know, this is the fifth year now that you've been in no, high school. No, it ain't my fifth. Not your it can't fifth. be, no. It's coming up your fifth year, dear. Do you think that you can possibly manage to pass your English this year? Oh, I, but I don't like that teacher. What's her name? Uh, Sue Beecham? Oh, you don't God. have to, Mrs. Beecham. No. Could you name one? I'll give you any teacher you want next year. Let's hope we get you through. Oh, uh, can you be my teacher? I tell well, you, it has I, to I tell be a what. teacher who is teaching the course. I tell you what. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, dear. Okay. I'll be your teacher. <laughs> Our testing program here at Apopka High School includes CTBS, ASVAB, SAT, ACT, SSAT, Senior Exit Survey, and Vocational Interest Surveys. Also, there is a degree of power reading test. Big Latin test? If I'm a senior, do I have to take the SAT? SAT? Yeah. SAT. Yeah. Should I have taken the SSAT? What about or the, the DRP? Or the, or what about or the, the drip test? Have you guys taken the DRP? What? Drip? The, no, the DRP. DRP. No, I don't even know what that is. Vocational, Vocational interest, interest surveys. surveys. No. no. Um, S-A-T-F. -S UNLV? What? No. What? Uh, M-I-T-F. M-I-C-K-E-Y? Um, no. O-U-S-E? Oh, -E? yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Um, okay. The average score for an Apopka High School student on the SAT is 880. The average score on the ACT is 19.5. I'm sick of taking tests. I don't care what my IQ is. The senior exit survey is given to every senior. Information from this survey is then used to make changes in the school program. No, this no, door. No, 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 this I want that door. No, no Mickey, no, Mickey, no, this door. No, this door. That's this pretty this door is more functional. Like no, this one. Look at it. Look, 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 look. 84% of the students who start the ninth grade at Apopka High School stay and graduate from Apopka High School. We're all freshmen and we intend to go to Apopka High School from now till the end. Uh-uh. I'm going to Dr. Phillips. Ah, ah. <laughs> In order to gain additional information about Apopka High School, surveys will be sent to three various groups. 250 homes will be surveyed through the mail, and these will get parents' responses and the attitudes about Apopka High School and the community. Parents cannot wait to get this survey. Do I have to fill this out? Oh my God. There you go. This is terrible. Some of the statements that will ask for a reply from the parents are as follows. Number one, the students and the teachers at Apopka High School have a good working relationship with each other. Please answer. I have had it with Don't you. Don't give me please. Number two, our school is doing a good job teaching students the language arts. Moreover, etc., etc., this is the way you punctuate. Everybody's listening, I know. Okay, here we go. I hate English, however, I love Mrs. Bachelor. Okay, don't editorialize class. I want you to copy it down just the way it is. Okay, I hate English, however, I love Mrs. Bachelor. How are we going to punctuate this? Okay, okay, here's how you do it. Put a comma in front of the however and a semicolon after the however. Everybody got that? Good, good. Let's go on to another one. Um... Number three. Our school is doing a good job of teaching our students mathematics. The rule of 1 over x dx is defined as the natural log of absolute value of x. So if you have the integral of 1 over really anything dx, then that's defined as natural log of the anything absolute value. And then what do you have to do if you don't have limits of integration? Yeah, that's right. You've got to say plus c. So Number four. Our school is doing a good job of teaching students moral and ethical responsibilities. Oh man, 20 bucks, spend it. No, 
look, can't spend 20 bucks. Remember that class we took on moral and ethics? We have to give it back to the school so they can find the kid who lost it. This could be like his lunch money for the next 50 days. It could be a poor kid. Maybe we should give uh, it Mr. Scale. Yeah. Mm. We found this $20. And we thought that money. since you're a member of the faculty, you could rightfully give this back to the person who belongs to or take it down to the office for us because we got to get to class now, okay? I'm so glad that Apopka has taught you morality and ethics. What a wonderful thing. Huh. Good going. Good going. Good going. Yeah, you Good going. Get to class. Get to class. Ah, tonight we eat. Next, our school is doing a good job teaching students social studies, history, geography, and government. And so they decide they will make a major offensive against Hitler in Europe. And in the meantime, we will send enough boys and, and ships and aircraft carriers to the Pacific to hold the Japanese and not let them get any firmer in the islands in the Pacific. Parents will be asked, is student absenteeism a problem at this high school? Ah, the attendance list for people that were absent. The survey asks, are teachers at Apopka High School competent? What we're going to do today is a simple little solution. We're going to make a solution with water and sugar and watch it dissolve. So it's beginning to dissolve. Why is it turning black? Uh, are we sure we had water? beginning to grow. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't think it dissolved. Are health services at the high school adequate or inadequate? In the shop, I, I cut my arm. In the shop on the in this regular saw. Yes. And, uh, I, I need some help. Well, um, I can give you a Rolaid. <laughs> We're not allowed to give out aspirin. Um, <laughs> do you have a pass? You need to go to attendance and get permission to go home. Parents will be asked to comment. The media center, does it play a central role in learning? Here we are at the Apopka High School Media Center, where we have books, magazines, and all sorts of literary knowledge that is available for every student. Walk this way. You'll see the various things about Ready for Students. Over here, we have records. Records! Look, man! Records! Records are available for every student to check out. And of course, we have lots of things the students will want. Whoa. The Media Center is up to date and is ready with anything that is in the latest top 10. For example, what do you got? Check it out, man. Chevrolet sings of safe driving in you. Dude. Chevrolet sings of safe driving. Wisdom. A must for any record collector. Conversations with the elder wise men of our day with Frank Lloyd Wright, dude. Wisdom, a must. Uh-uh, I got the best one yet. Look. Ah, songs from the Depression. This is several teachers singing about the salaries that they make. Tragic, very tragic. Oh, wow, American landmarks. Dude. American landmarks. Oh, wow. And we're standing in one right now. No, this is the best. Oh, out of all of these here, look. Oh, my gosh. 
It's timely. Making it. This is for Jet. the Sachs Committee. Making it. Every ten years, we have Sachs. Surveys will also be given to approximately 250 Apopka High School students. They will be surveyed through their English classes. And boy, aren't they looking forward to getting those surveys. Oh my god! Why do they waste our time with this? I'm a senior! Ugh. 38 questions? God! Do the adult sponsors of the activities seem genuinely interested in what they are doing? It's like we gotta do this, we gotta play this game. And I know you don't want to, and I don't want to either, so uh, just, you know, do the best you can, drill the ball. I know it's boring, I'm bored too, so let's just hurry up and get the game over with. Are teachers concerned that students learn the subjects that they are teaching? Gee, it must be great to be like Teacher of the Year. It must be very important to be Teacher of the Year. Well, it's really, really a lot of work. I mean, look at me. I, I'm overworked. You know, I never have time to sit down and take a break. You know, it's, it's, it's really stressful being Teacher of the Year. Uh, you know, every once in a while I teach. Not very often, though. You know, answer the phone. Um, just, just kind of play around. Hey, hey, Tom! Tom! You get your work out and get started. Do something in here. We never do anything in here anyway. The students will also be asked to comment about the counseling department. Here we have in the counseling center one of the things that Apopka is known for. Dedicated secretaries who are ready to help at any given moment. And counselors who are available all the time. For example, I, I need to see my counselor about a schedule change. Is it possible? Oh, I don't know. They're kind of booked up for at least a I, month right I, now. I, I need to see her. I really, my, I have to submit my schedule for this period. I have to see her. I need to. Well, maybe we can kind of fit you in, uh, you know, in about a week. A week. What do you think? You think you can wait that long? If it's a real emergency, I mean, if, you know. Okay. They might be out for lunch. Check on this one. Get out of here! I'm busy! Right. Uh, just been looking over all of the stuff that you've done and your last uh, interest inventories and surveys and uh, what, we've, uh, what we've come up with here is the fact that, uh, you know, you've got a whole realm of opportunities open to you uh, in your future life. Uh, you can be... Uh, sanitation worker for the city of Apopka, uh, you know, you can work for the school system, perhaps, as, uh, you know, squeezes understudy or something, you know, yes. that. maybe yeah. even uh, fry hamburgers or, really? you know, uh, french fries up at McDonald's. I mean, you know, you got a, a large range of things that you can really do. Can I have your job? Does the principal give personal encouragement? Dr. Helms, I need words of encouragement. Dr. Helms. Go away. Go to Dr. Phillips High School. Dr. Helms, I... Do students feel that they fit in at Apopka High School? No, I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> Students will be asked to rate, does school spirit exist at Apopka High School? You on? We know you're excited about this survey 
and can't wait to fill it out. That's the reason they're due by Friday. But we know you'll be so excited that it will be done before then. Yuck. Another piece of paperwork to fill out. Look at it. 66 questions. Good grief. What? Who does Dr. Helms think we are? You have to... 66 questions. We've got to read and answer. And got five choices for each answer. I hate this stuff. On the teacher opinion inventory, we have the following statements in which you must disagree or agree. When you talk to an administrator, you can do so with relative ease. I need to make an appointment to see Dr. Helms. Really? Yes. And when would you like to see Dr. Helms? Oh, anytime, as long as he's in the building. Okay. Uh, do you think it could be tomorrow? I'll check and see. Well, um, would next week be okay? And another time? Uh, next month. Will he be in his office any time next month? And another time? Uh, will he be next year? Do you think he'll be here next year in his office okay. any time? On August 21st, 1989. Okay. At 9 o'clock. At How's 9 o'clock. I don't think I could make that. Uh, is Mrs. Whitaker in? Mrs. Whitaker is not available. Oh. Is uh, Mr. Akery available? Mr. Akery is mowing the lawn. Uh, what about Mr. Humphreys? Let me check his office and see. He doesn't answer. What about Mr. Joyner? Mr. Joyner had to take his uh, walkie-talkie in for repair. Oh. He well, is there, is there any administrative person that I could see to get some answers? Well, you just went through the list, didn't you? Was well, there anybody else at all? Squeeze. The findings of the committee is that class visitations by our principal or assistant principals contribute to improved quality of education. For example, I am here in the assistant principal's office, ready to sign my evaluation. I am, I only have one problem with this. I don't ever remember you coming to my classroom to evaluate me. Well, Mr. Scahill, here it is. Here's the observation, everything I saw, of uh, the day I was there. But I was gone that day. Well, but Mr. Scahill, I observed your classroom on this day. Well, th then you observed a substitute. Well, that's all right. Well, but down here, one of my comments is like, the, the dress and the shoes and the purse didn't match. <laughs> that's not, ri not right. That's not really a specific recommendation. But Mr. Scahill, that's what I saw when I visited your class. I mean, what do you expect? I have this many people to observe. Certainly, I have to keep my schedule, and that's what I saw the day that I came into your classroom. Well, I guess the best thing I can do for next year is try to find some shoes and a purse that will match. <laughs> I, that's, that's. <laughs> Two findings in the committee report have been, number one, that teachers are regularly involved in the development of school policy. For example, we are talking with Dr. Helms about the policy of attendance. Now, is it really really that important that we've got to fill out those forms, those WC 2333 forms? No. Well, do you have another suggestion that we can come up with? No. But that's, that's a real burden for us to do that on a daily basis. Don't you care? It's not my problem. Well, the next thing we need to talk about is that the principal is always fair and open when he's dealing with teachers. Now, why why was I called in here? Well, we, we've noticed that uh, over the last few months, every month, you've used uh, four pieces of chalk. And 
based on the money that I give you, which is more than sufficient, uh, you should only use two. So instead of allowing you access to where we keep chalk, from now on you will get your chalk from me, and two pieces will all you be allowed to get. Two pieces. And if you can't make it with that, then take it out of your pocket. It's not fair to the other teachers that they can get by with two pieces and you cannot. Well, but, but I try to teach. I, I need more than two pieces. That's debatable. Oh. Well, is there anything else that you needed to talk to me about? I'll give you the list of who will be in your classes next year, and you just make sure you do a good job with them. But, but Dr. Helms, you're, you're trying to give me a whole class of 30 kids who don't speak English. Well, we'll just get into more ethnic productions next year. Oh boy, West Side Story. You will be asked to comment on the following statement. If I have a discipline problem, the administration gives me the support I need. Uh, Mr. Joyner, we've got a real discipline problem here. This kid, okay. this kid pulled a knife on me. He pulled did a knife what? on me. Pulled a knife on me. He was going to stab me. Did you do this, son? No, sir. Are you sure? Uh, yes, sir. But he says he didn't do it, Mr. Scahill. Oh, now, Mr. Jordan, this, this kid tried to pull a knife on me. Did what you was... actually see the knife? Yeah, it was in my ribs. Uh, uh, let me ask you have, you, have you have you attempted to call his parents and talk to them about his discipline problem? No, Mr. Jordan, this kid had a knife in my rib. I'm not going to call his parents. But I, you have to understand, we, we need to make contact with the parents to tell them that we've been having a problem. Now, with, with a knife in my stomach, I'm supposed to do. Look at that face. Well, now you have to understand. We have to. We have to listen to both sides here. He he has his civil rights also. We have to make sure he gets his rights. Civil rights. Now, what you may have thought was a knife may have been, in fact, uh, something that may have looked like a knife, but may not have actually been a knife. And he may not have actually been trying to stab you. He may have best just been trying to get your attention with it. Isn't that correct, son? Yes, sir. Uh, very much so, sir. Yes, sir. I I, I believe so. Now, I, I can don't you, know. <laughs> can you believe this? It was just a small knife, probably, anyway. Finally, all things considered, are you satisfied with being a teacher? There's this rabbi, a priest, and a Christian, okay? And they walk into a church. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, I just love teaching. Here's your paycheck, Miss Armis. Oh, I just love teaching. I love teaching talk about some more findings of the committee. Let's look at Apopka itself. Apopka. The population is 11,144. Let's go outside the city hall and look at those findings again. This is the city of Apopka. Apopka, Florida. The population of Apopka is approximately 11,144, but the trade area of Apopka is 30,000 to 50,000 people. Everyone is important. The current enrollment at Apopka High School is 2,152, but enrollment projections over the next 10 years are 3,000. And 83. That means some changes. First, there will be additional classrooms, either portables or wings. Oh my god, more portables. Secondly, there must be another assistant principal. I am happy to be the new assistant principal at a proper high school. <laughs> And finally, there must be additional guidance counselors. Bachelor, I, um, I've gone.
around to so many people, I really have a problem, and I really need to talk You to have somebody. a problem. I have a problem. I have a run in my pantyhose. <laughs> my Yorkie just was impregnated by the pit bull next door. I have too many problems to deal with you. I have a class of people. I have to recommend 42 honor students down to regular because they can't handle the work. I'm sick of it. I'm writing these grants for Dr. Helms. I'm not doing any more of this. Do you have it, Brenda? Go see someone else. Squeeze, I, I have a really big problem, and I was wondering if you could help me with it. Nope, I can't help you. Please? Nope. I, I need to talk some. That's every day, every day this time, you want some help. Will you please go away? The expenditure per student in grades 9 through 12 is 3200 and sixty-seven dollars. That is per student. Wow! That much? Can I just have the money instead? The assessed valuation of the Orange County School District is twenty-three billion five hundred and twenty-eight million three hundred and ninety-two thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I say we sell it and split the cash. The budget planning process is school-based management, beginning with teacher input and ending up with parents and community businessmen who review the budget. Also, the budget is taken a close look at by our principal and those in charge. Okay. We're going to talk about the budget for next year now. I want to look at um, textbooks first of all. We're going to increase our textbooks a little bit. We want to go to $3.82 for instructional materials and textbooks. That, that includes all the departments. And we want to, uh, uh, for supplies, that's paper and chalk and so on and so forth, we're going up to uh, $2.56. So that's a substantial increase over last year. Now, under administrative enrichment and travel, we've got three trips, one scheduled to Barbados, one to uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina again, and we've got one uh, scheduled this year to Hawaii. So we're going to need about $8,000 for travel for administration. And that should leave us about $4 left over in um, contingency in case there's an emergency here at school. Well, that's the way we'll work it. <laughs> Apopka itself is famous for being a capital. But not only that, it has various arts and crafts. Welcome to Apopka, the foliage capital of the world. The city of Apopka also offers many different museums, including its own museum, which we'll go into now. Let's see. Monday, closed, closed. Tuesday, closed, closed. Wednesday, two to four. Thursday, closed. The Friday, closed. Saturday, closed. Sunday, closed. Well, we'll come back here another day. How about Wednesday, two to four? Part of the report ask, is there an Apopka Zoo? And after great, great findings, and discovery, we located the Apopka Zoo. Let's go there now, shall we, for a visit. Here we are at the Apopka Zoo with a many variety of species of animals just for you to watch and to look at. The thing about this zoo, it's got wildlife that you could reach out and literally touch. If you really wanted to. Another question asked the committee, are there clubs in Apopka of varying interests? Interests for the typical Apopka high school student. We have the women's aglow, the Florida CFW, the Woodman of the World, the Presbyterian Church. Anybody with five 
blocks is welcome. We have the Federation of Garden Clubs. And finally, we have the Apopka Bird Sanctuary. I intend to go there now. Hey guys! Let's hit the Mason's line! Let's join! Let's hey, the you know this is the oldest instituted one in the country? Yeah! Well, we've run out of time. There's a lot more things the committee discovered about Apopka, but now we must leave you. However, let's take one final look, for this is the summary of what the committee had to find about Apopka High School and Apopka the community. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next year, because as you know, next year, we finally have sacks. Until then. But anyway, Toto, we're home. Home. And this is my room. And you're all here. And I'm not going to leave here ever, ever again, because I love you all. And, oh, Annie M, there's no place like home. bring over the other. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next year, because as you know, next year, we finally have sacks. Until then. Shoot. Come here, you want to be in the video? Come here. Now you can get up here. And now, come here. Come on. And now, here's Boo the dog. Ooh, baby dog. Ah, This is Boo the dog from the Apopka Zoo. <laughs> what you doing? You want to sing? Here, let's want to...
for the mess. What you want? Well, you're not gonna sing for everybody, huh? Oops, oops. Okay. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Oh, what a good baby. All right, we won't get another dog. Texas that has Two. three <laughs> Englishes as a second language, and we only allow the student to take one here for credit. Mm -hmm. And so we're faced with the dilemma of does the student just leave lose two credits, or do we put them in an English, although they don't speak a word of English, and we're just going to have to make some decisions as to what we should do on it. I know. Let's transfer to that school down the oh. south part of the county, <laughs> Dr. Phillips High School. That's a good idea. We do have smart There's counselors. Oh, I, I send like them the off to Dr. Phillips. No, I like the idea of putting them in the drama classes. <laughs> yeah. Here we have in the counseling center one of the things that Apopka is known for. Dedicated secretaries who are ready to help at any given moment. And counselors who are available all the time. For example. I, I, I need to see my counselor about a schedule change. Is it possible? Oh. I don't know. They're kind of booked up for at least a month I, right I, now. I, I need to see her. I really, my, I have to submit my schedule for this period. I have to see her. I need to. Well, maybe we can kind of fit you in, uh, you know, in about a week. A week. What do you think? You think you can wait that long? If it's a real emergency, I mean, if, you know. Okay. Oh. They might be out for lunch. Check on this one. Get out of here! I'm busy! Right. <laughs> Part of the report has found that a higher percentage of males return for an additional year in order to complete their high school education. For example... Nikki, you know, this is the fifth year now that you've been in no, high school. No, it ain't my fifth. Not it your can't fifth. be, no. It's coming up your fifth year, dear. Do you think that you can possibly manage to pass counselor. your English this year? Oh, I, but I don't like that teacher. What's her name? Uh, Sue Beecham? Oh, you don't God. like her, Mrs. Beecham? No. Could you name her? I'll give you any teacher you want next year. Let's hope we get you through. Uh, can you be my teacher? I tell, well, it has I, to I be tell a you teacher what. who is teaching the course. I tell you what. Here, I'll be your teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. All right. Should we cut hello? What did he say? Our testing program at Apopka High School includes CTBS, ASVAB, SAT, ACT, SSAT, Senior Exit Surveys, Vocational Interest Surveys, and Degree of Power Reading Test. So these are all tests that these students must take, correct? Oh, well, we'd like them to take all of them, yes. Now, you need to take the SAT. That, S S A T. What does that stand A for? Well, the CTBS. Students are the and the ASVAB. 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 What about the ASSAT? SSAT. Isn't that some sort of kind of satellite the Russians put up? Yes. No, that's the TAS. That's a TAS. The ASVAB is the one we really need to consider. Is As this going to be on PBS? 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 Okay. Apopka High School has various medical facilities, and if a student has problems or gets injured, there is definitely a place in Apopka High School to go. 
I need, I need something for my, my arm. Do you have something? I need, I need for my arm. I can give you a rolly. That's all I can do. We're not allowed to do aspirin. Apopka High School is known for its various ways in which it helps its students. For example, if a student is injured, the student knows exactly where to go. Um, in, the, in the shop, I, I, I cut my arm. In, in the shop, on the, in this regular saw. Yes. And, uh, I, I need some help. Well, um, I can give you a Rolaid. <laughs> We're not allowed to give out aspirin. Uh, um, uh, do you have a pass? Uh, you need to go to attendance and get permission to go home. One of the findings of the faculty committee so far has been that administrators at Apopka High School are accessible. They are also easy to talk to. For example, here we are talking to the head secretary and planning on getting an appointment to see one of our administrators. I need to make an appointment to see Dr. Helms. Really? Yes. And when would you like to see Dr. Helms? Oh, anytime, as long as he's in the building. Okay. Uh, do you think it could be tomorrow? I'll check and see. Well, um, would next week be okay? And another time? Uh, next month. Will he be in his office any time next month? And another time? Uh, will he be next year? Do you think he'll be here next year in his office okay. any time? On August 21st, 1989. Okay. At 9 o'clock. At How's 9 o'clock. I don't think I could make that. Uh, is Mrs. Whitaker in? Mrs. Whitaker is not available. Oh. Is uh, Mr. Akery available? Mr. Akery is mowing the lawn. Uh, what about Mr. Humphreys? Let me check his office and see. He doesn't answer. What about Mr. Joyner? Mr. Joyner had to take his uh, walkie-talkie in for repair. Oh. He well, is there, is there any administrative person that I could see to get some answers? Well, you just went through the list, didn't you? Was well, there anybody else at all? Squeeze. One of the findings of the committee is that class visitations by our principal or assistant principals contribute to improved quality of education. For example, I am here in the assistant principal's office ready to sign my evaluation. I am, I only have one problem with this. I don't ever remember you coming to my classroom to evaluate me. Well, Mr. Scahill, here it is. Here's the observation, everything I saw. Uh the day I was there. But I was gone that day. Well, but Mr. Scahill, I observed your classroom on this day. Well, th then you observed a substitute. Well, that's all right. Well, but down here, one of my comments is like, the, the dress and the shoes and the purse didn't match. <laughs> that's not, ri not right. That's not really a specific recommendation. But, Mr. Scahill, that's what I saw when I visited your class. I mean, what do you expect? I have this many people to observe. Certainly, I have to keep my schedule. And that's what I saw the day that I came into your classroom. Well, I guess the best thing I can do for next year is try to find some shoes and a purse that will match. <laughs> Just casual, don't worry about it. I, but like, that's... that's... <laughs> Two findings in the committee report have been, number one, that teachers are regularly involved in the development of school policy. For example, we are talking with Dr. Helms about the policy of attendance. Now, is it really, really that important that we've got to fill out those forms, those WC2333 forms? No. Well, do you have another suggestion that we can come up with? No. But 
that's that's a real burden for us to do that on a daily basis. Don't you care? It's not my problem. Well, the next thing we need to talk about is that the principal is always fair and open when he's dealing with teachers. Now, why why was I called in here? Well, we, we've noticed that uh, over the last few months, every month, you've used uh, four pieces of chalk. And based on the money that I give you, which is more than to do a good job with it. But, but Dr. Helms, you're, you're trying to give me a whole class of 30 kids who don't speak English. Well, we'll just get into more ethnic productions next year. Oh, boy. West Side Story. Hi, and welcome to the first Sachs Committee report. The Sachs Committee. Every 10 years, we at Apopka have Sachs. Sometimes it's good Sachs. Sometimes it's bad Sachs. But every 10 years, all of us have Sachs. So this next upcoming year, we will have Sachs again. And that is what this video is about tell you about Apopka High School and how it deals with sacks. So here we go with our report on Apopka High School. The sacks committee. Sometimes, and when we take a look at the evaluations, it's sacks that we'll talk about for years and years to come. Sometimes, however, it's forgettable sacks. We're hoping that this report will be memorable. And the first thing we'd like to talk about is the design of the school. Yes, including that beautiful bell tone that we hear every 55 minutes. Well, let's take a look at the design. The school is designed with every thought in mind. No mistakes have been made. Everything is worthwhile, and everyone has a place to go and a place to be. everything, but it's got lots of fun things to do, including in this recreational facility. It's kind of like Disneyland. Mad tea party! Complete with sick children. Are you really? This is the city of Apopka, Apopka, Florida. The population of Apopka is approximately 11,144, but the trade area of Apopka is 30,000 to 50,000 people. Everyone is important. The city of Apopka also offers many different museums including its own museum, which we'll go into now. Let's see. Monday, closed, closed. Tuesday, closed, closed. Wednesday, two to four. Thursday, closed. The Friday, closed. Saturday, closed. Sunday, closed. Well, we'll come back here another day. How about Wednesday, two to four? organization available. These are typical of the various organizations and civic duties that are seen around Apopka. We have the Women's Aglow, the Florida CFW, 
the woodmen of the world, the Presbyterian Church, anybody with five blocks is welcome. We have the Federation of Garden Clubs. And finally, we have the Apopka Bird Sanctuary. I intend to go there now. One of the oldest civic organizations in Florida is this Mason's Lodge. In fact, it's also got a point of various interest, which we'll show you right now. As you can see, this lodge in Apopka is the oldest lodge in continuous use in Florida. Part of the report shows us that many students have got the ability to join this Mason's Lodge. I can think of at least several Apopka High School students that belong. How many can you name? This is the Apopka Library for the community that kids can use. In it, we have various magazines, tables, kids. <laughs> this is a typical Apopka kid. And we also have works of art. This is from the Apopka Art Gallery collection. We have a bust of a man with beard, Martin Luther King, and a man who was in a severe accident with a car and had his nose completely broken off. It's a stirring piece of work. We have a bust of Hal Holbrook. And this is man sitting in chair with duck. We'll discover more about Apopka's art galleries as we look for more objects de art in Apopka. One of the things that the faculty must do is take its students to other places, like the Apopka Library, in order to challenge their minds. Here we have two students who are being challenged. However, I, as a faculty member, need to challenge them further. All right, guys, instead of playing this game of chess, let's do a puzzle. Shh. Where? Hey! I was quiet. <laughs> this okay. sucks, guys. In the Apopka Library, we have many objects de art. This one was simply given to the, uh, the library recently by Mr. Mahagrundi Grunte. Yes. Now, as you can see, I purchased this from India in the year 1984. Now, this is obviously a person's name. His name was Akmaharan Ibn Huban. Now, this is the Ak part of the Ak. Uh, uh, then you get to name Akmaharan. Now, down here, you have his occupation. As you can see, he was a proctologist. There is, this is the instrument which he used. Little pronging substance coming out here. You have the two legs right here. And you have the arms crossing because the man is in such pain. <laughs> Now there is one more piece. I don't want to see this one either. Now this, this guy <laughs> was obviously a soldier of fortune. Now these are the things that which he bought or, or obtained or purchased from faraway lands such as um, Cleveland. Now this is how much, how much of the honor that he gained by all the other people. Now, this says these are three things I wish the person got. Yes. How do we really be late for worship? Oh, I, I guess. Oh, pray to Mecca. Well, once again, we have objects they art. Thank you. This is called a pop. Here we are at a popka's biggest recreational facility. This is where all the popka comes, regardless of race, creed, color, or national origin. Yes, this is the Apopka Brunswick 
bowling alley, and you see the typical bowlers. at the Apopka Park. This is a typical recreational facility where typical hey, Apopkins you with my beer. get along with each other. Hey. They like each other. Hey, come here. We never see any problems with beer, anybody. Man. It's a happy Hello, place. I do not. Yeah, happy you do. People. people to get along all the time. And that's why this park was built. We have no problems here at Apopka because everyone oh. loves everyone. Where's my beer? Where'd you put it? Here we are still at the Apopka Park, where students can do any sort of recreational facilities, whatever. For example, they can play tennis. Let's go play tennis now. Oh. Well, the court must be opened at the same time the Apopka Museum is, so we'll just have to make a choice. And here are typical Apopka High School students at the Apopka Park. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, what a McDonald's. I didn't want to make that. I like the McDonald's one. So there you have it. McDonald's wins again. joint. Here we are at another Apopka recreational spot. <laughs> Go. Here we are at the Apopka Zoo with a many variety of species of animals just for you to watch and to look at. The thing about this zoo, it's got wildlife that you can reach out and literally touch. If you really wanted to.
Go! We got spirit, yes we do! We got spirit, how about you? I got spirit, yes I do! I got spirit, how about you? me jump. You can't make me. You can't make me. You can't make me jump. Okay. Are we going? Go. Oh, I'll go if you go. I don't believe you're doing this. <laughs> I don't want to go. Don't you don't push. I'm going to think I'm going to land. Should I land on my ass or on my belly? Or <laughs> You end up like, don't fall off the mountain, lady. I'm gonna get down now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, I know it's gonna be fun. Just do it. I'll push you. Here we go. I'm gonna land feet first and I'm gonna jump out there. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's soft. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I'm not doing it. Make me jump! No, you have to do it. No, you, you gotta go. Do go. It. Okay, good. Hold on, just get him. Ah. <laughs> that was fun! Okay, Nick. Stunned luck. Nick? We killed an Indian. Nick? 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 Nick?